Good morning, and thank you for having me here. That's me. <laughs> I'm five years old. I'm in San Antonio, Texas, where I grew up. It's a big day for me because it's my birthday. And I'm thinking about all the possibilities of what happens when I become six. <laughs> and I'm riding on my pony. It's an interesting time in America. The number one television show by Disney is something called Davy Crockett. We all had our coonskin caps. We all knew the words of the song, Davy, Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier. And if you lived in San Antonio, Texas, that meant something very special. It meant the Alamo. And it was one of the favorite places I used to visit as a child. The thing that's important about the history of the Alamo is that people came for the big idea, for the dream. They dreamed about a different way of doing government. They dreamed about independence, and they believed they could do it. It was a great, great lesson for a young man about bold ideas, big ideas, challenges. And the people at the Alamo came because they dreamed about a better life and what they could do to make a difference. Many of them died for that great idea. It was a lesson very important in my youth. One other thing happened to me in San Antonio. I fell in love with trains. I had lots of trains, and I played with them all the time. And the love of trains and the love of a bold idea brings me to the stage today. This year, I get to chair the Super Regional Committee. Many of you have no idea what that is, but it's a bold idea. It's a dream. And 10 years after Katrina, we talk about how Baton Rouge and New Orleans, New Orleans and Baton Rouge can work together. We create a super region. It's a bold dream created by Michael Heck at GNO, Adam Knapp at the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, and they said if we work together, if we keep the spirit of cooperation that we created in post-Katrina together, how big can we be? And we combine the regions, we create a population of 2.2 million people. Today, the population of Louisiana is changing. 50% of our state's population now lives south of I-10. And what's remarkable is when you look at the super region, 46% of the jobs reside in the Baton Rouge, New Orleans area. Where we stand today drives the economy of this state. We create the jobs and the economy that drives Louisiana. And by the way, we think more are coming. So step back and quit thinking about how we don't like each other, how we didn't get along for so many years, the differences between the big international city that people come and love and that small country town called Baton Rouge. <laughs> you all are from New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> and think about how we work together. So think about Dallas, Fort Worth. Think about Minneapolis, St. Paul. Think about a small city in California called San Jose, sitting in the shadows of San Francisco that the world now knows as Silicon Valley. And think about the marketing, marketing potential of if we work together. What are the big, big things that can happen? We have the assets. Think about the universities, the University of New Orleans, Loyola, Southern, Tulane, LSU. We have two major medical centers in Baton Rouge and New Orleans. Politics in New Orleans, state decisions made in Baton Rouge. If we combine our legislative delegations around big, bold ideas, we have enough votes in the legislature to actually make them happen. Working together is better. 48,000 people every year commute between our two cities. 48,000. They live in one place, they work in the other place. They go up and down I-10, or at least they try to. <laughs> we started looking at, oh, a train. And we thought about 
why don't we connect our cities with a train that goes back and forth? The study told us 210,000 people every year would get on the train. And they'd pay $10 to ride the train, and they'd go back and forth. If you lived in New Orleans last week, would you love to have caught on the train and seen the LSU baseball team win? Would you come to New Orleans if you could get on the train, sit down with some leg room, plug your laptop or your iPhone into the wall, have Wi-Fi, a fresh croissant, a cup of coffee, and a little over an hour later, you come to downtown New Orleans. If you're in Baton Rouge, you could come to New Orleans, have dinner, turn around, come back. We could come to a Saints game. All the things that we do together would become easier if we had a way of doing it. And it's more than just having a good time. It's workforce. If we trained people in the inner city of New Orleans to become welders and pipe fitters, and they don't have a car, how do they get to the economic expansion taking place between our two cities? Put them on a train. Take them up to where the petrochemical industry are literally building billions of dollars in new construction. Let them get on a shuttle, go to the job, be employed, make lots of money, and come back home. A train offers opportunities that I-10 doesn't. And as we grow together, think about the marketing power of not just Louisiana, because the city of Houston has 50% more people living in Houston than the entire state of Louisiana. If we're going to compete in a global economy, we have to have a message that we are something other than what we are today. By working together, we become the super region. We have the potential of becoming the Silicon Valley of South Louisiana. We have the ability to engage through new ways of communications and transit, linking our two communities together. If we didn't have a swamp in between us, and we could just push us together, we'd be one of the largest metropolitan areas in the country today. So I take you back to the train. The train might start with two daily round trips, take you there and back. It operates about 80 miles an hour. You could sit back and relax, get some work done, connect to your Wi-Fi, look at your PowerPoint, send the pictures from the weekend to your friends, and be in the other city very quickly. We've now added lanes in both New Orleans. How'd that work out? We've added lanes in Baton Rouge. I can tell you how that worked out. <laughs> Not very well. So what we want to think about is a new train. It has all the things that you would want to have, and it's relaxing, and what I call it is civil. And it runs back and forth, and it connects us each day. Think about medical students, residents, faculty going between our two medical centers. Think about the business people that go back and forth. The study tells us 210,000 people will ride the train in year one. $10 one way, $10 back. Where we are now is we're looking at putting together a final summary of all the work that we've done. We want to share it with the gubernatorial candidates. We want to get them excited about this. And we want them to look at how we fund this train. It cost about $250 million to upgrade the track so it'll be fast enough for us to travel on. And it'll cost about six to $8 million a year to operate. About 25 to 30% of that will be paid for by the fares. And we have to look at other ways to finish how it's going to operate. My friends and my colleagues have watched me look at this project for a number of years, and they have now started calling this the Spain train. <laughs> I don't know whether that's a compliment or not. But remember that I started in San Antonio with a bold idea of making a difference. And this is a bold idea. And what the Super Regional Committee says is, this is one of the ways we bring our community together. We travel together. We have alternatives together where we can do business in each of our cities. Meet my two precious granddaughters. That's the future. They're on a train riding from Hammond to New Orleans. They think it's fun. And in fact, it is. It's a great day out, and I think you ought to try it sometime. But remember the bold ideas, the things that will distinguish us from other places in this country, mean investment in infrastructure and eat each other. So we tie the future and the dreams of New Orleans to the future and dreams of Baton Rouge, and we become that super region, that Silicon Valley of South Louisiana. So the time is for you to make your own decisions. Are you one of those that dream? Are you one of those that have the big idea? Are you one of those that will raise your hand and ride on that train with me? Thank you very much.